Rick Stengel, the other topic I've heard you talking about this week is China. Before we do, I want to show you Donald Trump from 2015 on China and Donald Trump from tonight on China. Think about a Carl Icahn or me or somebody working on the China deal and making it much better. We're being led by people that don't get it. And it's so easy. Yeah. By the way, I never said China was going to be easy. So there you have it. Uh, a couple of years can make a huge difference. Um, China isn't easy. It's hard. And one thing I've heard you asking this week, what happened to the United States being the beacon of hope and freedom in that part of the world? Yes. I mean, it, it should be an easy call to side with the protesters in Hong Kong who are asking for freedom of speech and freedom of choice. We supported that agreement of, of you know, the two Chinas and, and, and the two different policies. But the thing about Trump and China that I, I find so disturbing, too, is, you know, there's that old Chinese saying that when you ask a Westerner what time it is, they look at their watch. And when you ask a Chinese person what time it is, they look at the calendar. Trump is playing for 2020. He's playing for every day, for what the stock market goes up or down. The Chinese are playing for 2200. They're playing for 100 years from now. Who are you going to put your money on? People who don't have to react to the stock market every day or people who are playing a long game, which is what the Chinese are playing. They just feel like they're out, going to outfox him in the long run and they're going to outfox him in the short run, too. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.